Reporting the waiting game continues for UK fans who are eagerly anticipating an announcement on a new basketball coach. The university has yet to schedule a news conference and Memphis has not commented this morning on the status of its coach John Calipari. UK confirmed yesterday it's talked to Calipari about the job. WKYT's Rob Bromley's monitoring today's developments and he begins our top story team coverage now with the very latest. Rob. UK has put the wheels in motion to introduce a new coach. The most likely time is tomorrow morning, but we're told it's not a done deal yet with John Calipari. And Memphis Boosters are reported to be putting on a push to get him to stay. Kentucky set its sights on Calipari as early as Sunday. The school getting permission to talk to him yesterday. Calipari met with his players Monday morning. UK held a players meeting Monday afternoon. Then, Calipari met with some key Memphis boosters, and according to the Memphis Commercial Appeal, this meeting went on into the night. The discussions described as intense. Calipari gathered his assistants at his house late in the evening with no word on a decision. ESPN reported the Kentucky offer to be for eight years and around $35 million. That would make him the highest paid coach in college basketball. He's already the third highest paid behind Billy Donovan and Bill Self. Some reaction coming in to Calipari possibly taking the U.K. job. Rick Pitino this morning over in Louisville. He's done a great job at UMass. He's done a great job at Memphis. And he would do a great job at Kentucky if that's their pick. So the endorsement from the man who coached the Wildcats for eight seasons, Calipari is a charismatic individual who's a great recruiter and a winner. But as we said, as of this morning, there is no deal yet. We understand that the Memphis Commercial Appeal now reporting that Calipari was in a Memphis donut shop this morning, and he was saying that he would make his decision this afternoon. All right, so we're kind of minute by minute on this at the moment. Right. And uh, Rob, we thank you very much. Let us know anything new that comes in. Well, John Calipari remains the talk of the town this noon hour. The possibility of him coming to Kentucky has even drawn people to the bluegrass from Memphis. WKYT's Mark Kennedy continues our top story team coverage at Memorial Coliseum. Mark? Barb, all quiet on coach watch here. No sign of Mitch Barnhart and no sign inside the Joe Craft Center that there's going to be a press conference or any sort of a pep rally here today. The media, though, is gathering. And what I mean by that is Lexington, Louisville, as well as media from Memphis has come. We spoke with a newspaper beat writer who drove here overnight and said they expect a decision today, and that's why he's here in Kentucky. The longer this goes on, I think the more hopeful and optimistic Memphis fans are that he'll stay. Um, deep down, they probably know he's probably already gone, that it's only a matter of time, that they are probably just working out the contract details. He's always been a very ambitious coach. Um, I think maybe at this point in his life, he wants a new challenge. Conference USA, he's done everything he can there. They've, they haven't lost in three seasons. So I mean, he's always been ambitious, competitive, and this would be a obviously a brand new challenge for him and it's the pinnacle of basketball probably in his mind. Again, Coach Watch continues here. Most of the folks that have walked by here, uh, the opinion here seems they just want a decision today, yay or nay, from John Calipari. Live at UK, I'm Mark Kennedy, WKYT 27 News First. Thank you, Mark. And the search for a new coach is also dominating talk online. Comments are pouring into our web channel about John Calipari. You can voice your opinion and keep track of the latest developments all at WKYT 